Hello everyone, I'm Casey Holmes and welcome to the makeup room. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Well, step aside Snow White because Charlize Theron stars as the evil queen in the upcoming movie The Huntsman Winter's War and she makes being bad look really good. This week on The Makeup Room, I'm going to show you how to recreate Charlize's amazing stint as the Evil Queen. This look is all glam and all gold, so grab your brushes and get ready to channel your inner dark side. Are you ready, Huntsman? Hey. Okay, so since this is such a dramatic look, you're definitely gonna to wanna to prime. I'm gonna use my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base just to make sure everything stays all day. And then after your primer is all nice and dry, I'm just gonna take a face powder. This one's from Clinique. And I'm just going to put this all over the lid. Okay, and for this look, since it is so dramatic, I am going to take some tape and do my tape trick. So I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. Just take off some of that glue. And then we're just going to stick it following our lower lash line up to our brow. And just make sure you press that all the way down. Next up, we're gonna take a transition shade. This one is the one I'm gonna use. It's just a nice warm brown. We're gonna take a fluffy brush and put that directly in the crease. And you wanna take it all the way from the outer corner out here to the inner corner. And you definitely wanna transition shade with this look so that when we put the black on, it'll blend up to the brow a little bit nicer. Okay, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is start with some darker browns. I'm gonna take this one right here. I'm gonna take a fluffier brush and we're gonna start putting this out in the outer V and into the crease. So you just wanna kind of lightly blend it here, a little bit on the lid first, and then take it up a little bit more. So I'm gonna take a pencil brush and take that same exact color we're gonna put it right here in the inner part of our eye as well. And take it all the way up towards that crease. And you're gonna to wanna to leave this center area bare because we are gonna put a gold shade right there. So you can take whatever black you have. I'm just gonna take this matte one right here and take that same fluffy brush and fluff this in the outer V first. This is a very dramatic and smoky look. And then again, I'm just gonna kind of drag any excess right over here. And hers, you can tell she has it really going in deep into the inner corner. So I'm gonna bring that in. I'm gonna take that same fluffy brush we used in the beginning and just run over the edges of this. So I'm going to take a pretty gold shadow I'm gonna mix these two right here. I'm just gonna put that right there where we left the center bare. You do wanna take it up more towards the crease. Then we're gonna go in with our pencil brush and we're gonna dip it into the black. And we're gonna put this in the inner part, the inner corner. Blend that up into the crease. And then also kinda go over here it a little bit more precisely in that crease. Then I'm gonna take that transition shade we used in the beginning and once again, go over the edges to blend a little bit more. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just take off this tape. Okay, and now I'm going to take this NARS eyeliner and I'm gonna line my upper waterline just so it looks nice and deep. And in the picture that I have right here, it doesn't look like she's wearing false lashes, so we're just gonna wing it without some and curl our lashes really well and apply some mascara. Okay. 
Okay, next up we're gonna go ahead and finish off our face. So, like always, I'm gonna use my favorite primers to just prime. And then apply my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Then we're gonna apply concealer and just brighten up underneath these eyes. I take just a little bit in there as well. In the center of the face. Okay, after that, we're gonna take this Marc Jacobs palette and take the yellow toned powder in it and set all of that concealer that we just put on. So it doesn't look like she has a really harsh contour or anything, she just has really great cheekbones. So I'm going to take this Smashbox Shape Matters palette and I'm gonna take the more warm tone in here. I'm just going to put that right underneath my cheekbones to kind of make them pop and lift up like hers are. And then for her cheeks, we're gonna just do a really pretty pink color. Um, one of my favorites to give a natural flush is this dandelion one. So I'm gonna take that, just pop that onto my cheeks. Doesn't look like it would do much. It's not really a deep color, but it shows up just enough on the cheeks. There you have it, this is a full look, and I don't know about you, but I feel officially bewitching. And now that I'm all glammed up and ready for battle, I'm going to make my way over to Regal Cinemas to see The Huntsman Winter's War on the big screen. You can hunt down tickets right here by clicking the link below, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more episodes of The Makeup Room and lots of other great videos.